Hi, I'm Sina Brahm. I'm a graduate student in the Department of Computer Science here at NC State. And uh, when I was asked to teach a course, uh, one of the issues that uh, comes up is how do you use uh, the class tech and the, the technology in the classroom? For example, controlling the uh, projector or uh, uh, the mic volume, if you're wearing a mic, or the room volume. And obviously in computer science, we do a lot of presenting and we use computers to interact with uh, the students. So that's, uh, that's a big deal if you're a blind uh, professor. And so um, uh, this problem was uh, solved uh, by the guys here at NC State. And so here's how that system works. We can come up to the table. And I use, uh, like I said, I'm blind. So I use a screen reader on my laptop to, uh, to navigate around. That's what you hear there. And uh, we have a Crestron panel right here, which we'll get to, that lets me control the, the room volume and, it's the, and everything else. And this is the same panel that everybody uses that's in every classroom. And we have our cables uh, right here in a convenient uh, Pocket. So let's go ahead and turn the uh, let's turn the panel on and uh, get some uh, get get that system going. Powering on. So Swing. swipe up and down to list item. Swipe right to activate item. So we heard a couple of things there. First, we heard that the system is powering on, and we can also hear that there's a projector coming down um, in front. Uh, so there's some audio feedback there. We also heard an information blurb. It told us that we can swipe up and down to select, to, to, to navigate between items, and swipe right to select them. So this lets us have uh, quick information about um, about uh, uh, how to use the system if we're new to it, or if you know you just forget and so on and, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's important to note here that the if a, if a sighted faculty member or a sighted individual, a sighted user comes up to this device, they also can can use it. This speech overlay that's been put on top of it and gesture overlay that's been put on top of it in no way interrupts the natural flow of the user interface, and that's a big deal. Uh, it, it's sometimes referred to as universal design, where you're not limiting one user group by enabling the device for another user group. System on, right. And right here we heard system on ready and that lets us know uh, because I don't I can't see the projector so I can't know when it is um, when it's fully on or where the screen is fully bright but that speech message actually just let me know that the projector is good to go and will project what's on my laptop so let's go ahead and set my pro uh, laptop to project Windows P, projection options list box computer only one to four duplicate extend projector only there we go projector only let's hit and that there we go. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're on laptop. Laptop. There we go right there. Laptop. Selected. And it lets us know that it's selected. And now the students can see what I am projecting. Alt tab and print as left. And we have a little bit more proof of that because now my screen reader, uh, I wouldn't maybe do this in a class setting, but my screen reader has uh, is coming through the audio because I've plugged my laptop into the room audio. Now, during the course of teaching, uh, you might want to do more than just present from a laptop. We have a dot cam, for example, and we have other pieces of technology as well. So let's go through what this interface allows us to do. Dot cam. Let's start from the top. Laptop. PC. So the first thing you'll notice is it went bing, and that lets us know that we're at the top of the list. So there's audio, there's uh, non-speech audio that lets us know we're at the top of the list, and it's a really quick, convenient way to let us know that. The first one was PC, as we heard. Laptop. Do, uh, laptop, doc cam. Room volume. And now we can adjust the room volume, and that's 60. Uh, that's at 68 percent right now. Mic volume. The microphone volume. Percent. Screen up. And we have a couple of actions here. We can uh, make the screen, the projector screen, go up. Screen down. We can make it go down. Toggle image mute. And this is interesting. So toggle image mute. So this lets us mute out the image, which means it lets us black out the image so that uh, nothing is displayed on the projector. Now, that's actually really helpful, again, from an accessibility or, or universal design point of view, because I carry around earbuds, for example, with me, so that, again, I can hear my computer. So if I'm giving a quiz to the students or I'm uh, giving them a problem and I want to be working on something else, I can quickly slip in some earbuds. And then what I can do is remind my students that um, perhaps having their phone on is a bad idea, and then realize that it's my own, which would be a horrible teaching example. All right, and then we can um, plug the phone, uh, plug the earbuds uh, into the uh, into the laptop. And so I will turn the image mute on now. And there it is. It let me know that it's on, and I can still be using my computer via speech while the students can't see or are working on an exercise. I can then, of course, unplug that, and then turn the screen back on by swiping to the right because that's selection. Off. There we go. And what other options do we have here? Power off. And then we can power off the system. So this is the one option where it will ask us for a confirmation. So let's let's hear that now. 
Swipe right again to power off. Okay, and so we don't want to accidentally power off the system, so let's go ahead and do that. System powering down. There we please go, wait. and we can also, it lets us know to please wait, and also it, uh, we can hear that the projector is retracting, and you can take that time to answer questions or unplug your equipment and so on and so forth.